hey guys so i am doing a get ready with me but with a twist get ready with me drunk edition i am drinking rose the little last bit that i have left so let's get started Ooh. all right so um the foundation i am using at the moment is the wet and wild mega cushion foundation um this one i really like um the colors i have is honey beige and natural beige so they have a medium tan undertone warm and this is medium neutral so yeah so i want to finish this up um and i'm gonna try to do um my false lashes too um are we gonna use our primer i think we are just because i haven't used primer in a bit most of the times i just put on my foundation and go so let me try to do that. Let me try to accommodate you guys more. Oh, is that gonna work? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe so. I don't know. Does that work? A little bit. All right. Primer I am using is the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Um, there was a rumor around the streets that this was a dupe for the tatcha primer and i believe it is because i went um to sephora and i tried out the tatcha and it is exactly like it so this cost me what like six around six to eight bucks and i love how it makes your skin feel it's very smoothing so your pores get blurred out so I'm just gonna pat that in there as well get it around here around here and then drag it onto my neck and pat it, pat it, pat it. Pat, pat, pat. Um, with the foundation, I am just gonna grab the cushion because there's still a little bit left, but I just don't wanna throw it away just yet, just because there is more product to it that could get some use from it. So. I was playing some music i like to play music or watch my youtube videos while i'm getting ready but i just have some background noise from the tv going on at the moment um and if i play music it's gonna get copyrighted and stuff like that so now with that we've got that should i curl my lashes or wait just a little bit I will wait just a little bit on the lashes. Maybe I won't even curl them because I'm just gonna put um, false lashes. Um. So yeah. So let me just go ahead. And this can get super messy. I already know it because I've tried it before. It's gonna get all over my nails and everything. But I'm just gonna scoop this last bit. This is the honey beige color. And I'm just gonna put it all around get most out of it Oop. <laughs> flip it to the other side put that in there get above your lip drag it to your neck oh I can already see this is this was my summer color And we're gonna do a little forehead too. Gotta rotate your sponge. 
and this comes with a little black sponge too but i just don't use it i usually apply this foundation with my flat top kabuki um but this is the sponge that it comes with and it hasn't ripped or anything um but i just keep it there i have applied it like once or twice before just to like try it but i don't really see much of a impact um do we want to do a second layer whatever second layer means to this empty one um i'm just gonna do that get rid of a little redness drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it oh the camera looks a bit orange orange but not so much in person i'm gonna do your eyelids too don't forget your eyelids I think that's all I'm gonna do. Alright. So that is that. And look how it leaves your fingers. So I am gonna get a little wipey. Wipe this off. Wipe this off. And then, do I have a little blush in here? Let me see. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, that gets all over your fingers. Oh, and I like this nail, uh, nail color that I got. This is just a uh, clear pink acrylic. I act at the nail salon um I was going um natural nails for the longest for like over two two years or so back and forth four years or so ish um but then my minimum or my max amount of broken nails till I like completely restart all over again is three broken nails and then I'm calling it um so that's what happened i had this broken and this broken and then this one ended up being broken so what i usually do is drink no but what i usually do is apply um fake um nails the ones that you get oh i look very like oh balloon bush um but what I usually do is apply um, the fake nails um, that you can get at the store, apply the glue on it, and attach them on. Um, but if I have broken nails on this hand and then broken nails on this one, it's just a mess. Um, so yeah, so I was looking for like a clear pink, like subtle um, color, um, and I couldn't find that nail polish um at the nail salon um and then i told the lady and she was like i know exactly what you'll like and um she gave me um the just plain acrylic color um and then a uh, light pink acrylic color and i went with the light pink acrylic so i really love them um this is my second week so i'm gonna go get a fill and then i'll see what color i want to do next um so yeah oh any updates um what am i gonna do i'm gonna do i might do just bronzer bronzer do a little contour this is the um bronze essentials from butte basics oh and then a color that i picked up was the nyx my lashes my fake lashes i store in this little container um so yeah um where is it oh 
I had it here. Unless if I took it out and put it on my... Hmm. I think I did do that. This is Bonnie Bell Lip Lights. This was a dupe. Um, I don't know if you guys remember from way back then. I don't think they sell this anymore, but they used to sell this at Walmart. Here you can see... Uh, the name on that but that this was bonnie bell lip lights a long time ago um people would rave how this um is a dupe for the nars turkish delight and it is i really like the color so i'm gonna do that darn i had just bought a nyx london color but i think i took it out of here and put it on uh my makeup storage but let me just take out everything I need I have my um, eyelash glue let me take out you know what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the NYX um, liquid suede lippy and this is in color sandstorm so I love like nudie colors and that would focus any hoodle but this is sandstorm there we go sandstorm um so i'm gonna do that and then on top of that i'll do the bonnie bell lip lights um i'm trying to look okay so this will be this is my um contour no, this is actually <laughs> highlight this is my contour brush from sigma so i'll do that for my contour and let me find my eyeliner. eyeshadow 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 brush from sigma my e40 so we'll do that i think i got everything yes i got everything so I'll tell you what I got here. I have my next happy birthday palette. I am gonna use. I'm gonna use. What color am I gonna use? Let me use. I always do smoky. Should I try a green or one of these? I'll try green. Should I do green? I've never done green. Let me swatch that. It's like a, uh, I don't know. Maybe I do this like a goldy. That's goldy. Or do I want to? Uh, ooh, look at that orange. Ooh. Um, but up, but up, but up, but up, but up. Let's try this brown one. Maybe I'll just I'll just do smoky. Why does that look like a bit purple? Does that look a bit purple? It's a bit purple to me. How about this? This brownie one right here. So let me Maybe I'll go with that brown one. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, that's a lot. I just swatched a lot. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Or what I've done in the past. I've done my bronzers up in my up with my eyeshadow. So let's do bronzer first. So we're gonna squeeze our brush. I'm gonna tap it. Tap tap. I'm gonna apply that here. And then we're gonna let that sit a little bit. Alright, tap 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 tap. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Might wanna add more. Oh you know what? I actually have because this is powdered. 
you know what but i always use the cream contour so let me take a break from that the cream contour um that i'm talking about is the la colors cream contour so let me just take a break from that let me just do powdered so that's yeah that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna do powdered bronzer contour whatever you want to call it why do they call it contour okay you're contouring your cheeks right or your bone structure bronzer same shit right because you're bronzing your face making it look goddessy um and then we're gonna move on with our eyeshadow Ooh. So I'm trying to figure out what else I got here. That's pretty much it. All right. So we're gonna get our little um, second row down, third to the right camera shut off on me um but yeah we're gonna get um this color over here i have two bars of battery um and i just charged this so let's try to make this quick i'm gonna put that here in our crease let that sit for a little bit for a little bit let it marinate as i like to call it and Add the other one to our crease over here. Over here. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen um the Aaron Rodriguez series on Netflix? It is popping, and he is so handsome too. Um, but I definitely recommend the series. I'm into like investigation shows uh, crime murder all that um last 48 almost got away with it cold case files anything like that so if you're into anything like that you will enjoy that um also oh when i told you guys um so yes that's just one of the shows um that I finished watching and it was really entertaining um, but sad at the same time um, so if you've been thinking about watching it go ahead and watch it um, but yes what's another show that I've been into oh the start of um, Hugh Hefner um, and he made his company um, Playboy um, that is a docu-series type um, so I'm, in, I'm going to be on episode 3 of that um, and that's really interesting and very cool to watch um, definitely recommend that um, but yeah update is that I will be going to New Orleans in two weeks I am leaving Friday the 21st and coming back Sunday getting here around um, here around 11 p.m. midnight so yeah that's gonna be so much fun it's gonna be my first time in New Orleans I'm going for Mardi Gras um, weekend and I know February I've been told um, from my friends that February every weekend is just a festival so any weekend in February um, you are good to go it's gonna be popping um, so yeah I'm super excited um, the the flights that I got um and good ones because I wanted to um get there and have enough time to like um enjoy on the Friday that I get there so I get there at 5 p.m um my flight from here doesn't leave um till six in the morning so I'm gonna have to um arrive at the airport like at three four in the morning um so my flight leaves at 6 and then I have a layover in Orlando and then uh, from Orlando um, then I go 
um, and head to New Orleans. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. And then, um, hopefully I'll vlog it for you guys. Um, it'll be like a cool travel vlog. Um, and then on my way back, I just have a straight flight. Um, I like straight flights. I prefer straight flights. Um, but they didn't have, um, for my way to get there. Um, unless if I was to get there at 11 p.m., which I didn't want because I want to, you know, enjoy my Friday and, and all that stuff. Um, so that is that. Do I want to blend that more? Blend it more. Should we just do one eyeshadow? Should we just do one? Yes, we'll do one. We'll do one. Let's blend it a little bit more. Mm. So I'm going to be staying at an Airbnb over there. Um, hopefully I'll do a tour from over there. Um, but it's literally like four to five blocks away from French Quarters. Um... And I'm just so excited for New Orleans. Um, me and my friend have been planning this um, for a while now. I'd say for about two years. It's been two years. So yeah, so yeah. Um, so it's been a long time in the making. And we are finally able to go. And yeah, I can't wait. And... <laughs> me see what other stories i come up with um so yeah any experience i'm always like oh my gosh this is a story i can tell um so yeah so what else what else do i want to do do i want to do lippies do i want to do lashes do i want to do okay let me do mascara on my bottom lashes because mascara on your bottom lashes that makes a difference and the mascara I'm using. Hopefully, I have it here. Unless if I don't. I don't. What the hell? Maybe I'll just do eyeliner then. Let me just do eyeliner. You know what? Here's the thing. Because sometimes um, in my other bag, I just literally just carry my eyelash curler, which the thing fell out, and my mascara. And the one, the mascara I use is the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Pink Duke one, the Lash Paradise one. But I don't have, actually, this is, um, the eyeliner I'm using right now. Uh -huh. I think I threw away the other eyeliner because that one was like breaking off and stuff and it wouldn't want to fall anymore. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't have it. Okay, anywho, but you guys know how Sephora does um, their makeup, skincare, um, freebies um, when it's your birthday month. So this is some Marc Jacobs one. And this is just in black color, so we'll do that. Mind you, I have not done eyeliner in my bottom waterline in so long because I just, I just literally use, and then you twist this, and then this comes out. Because I just literally use. Fuck, I'm out of breath. Oh my god. <laughs> Talking too much. Um, fuck. <laughs> I literally use um, just my mascara, and then the mascara does me justice in my bottom lashes. Oh, fuck, I cannot believe I left my mascara. <sighs> That's really gonna make a difference on the bottom lashes. Anywho, we'll just rock our fake lashes um, on the top and that's it. Um, but yeah, I don't know why this is. Does this work? Does this work? Okay, you have to really... This is like a Noir color. If you have to literally rub it so much. Okay, maybe we won't even do this. Maybe we just... Oh God. I won't poke my eyes out. 
Oh my god, no, this is not even gonna work. You know what? I really don't even want to poke my eyes out, but let me try it on my other on my other eye. I don't even think I've ever done a get ready with me. But maybe I should do more. You know what? That's what it this is how it's gonna be i'm gonna look like a little raccoon because i'm putting it on my skin because if i put it on my waterline i cannot be that rough in my water do i look crazy maybe i look a little crazy but i cannot put pressure on my waterline i will literally jab my eye out this is what it's gonna be it's gonna be under the you know why i can do also is add this dark color of shadow to my waterline that's what i'm gonna do yep that is exactly what i'm gonna do um yeah yep i'm gonna do that grab this grab your first dark color here tap it just a bit i'm gonna put that under here put that under here you know how sometimes you just need to get ready just to feel good like yes i'm that bitch put your cute bra on with a cute thong that's matching cute little lingerie doesn't even have to be for anybody else but yourself drink your wine have your nails done do your hair just feel good catch up on a good show or a movie that you've been wanting to watch and sit back and relax um let's do our lashes and then once we apply the glue i believe these are ardell lashes and i always get the wispies so that is it. Oh my gosh. What if I put them like upside down like Rosa? Will that be hilarious? Yeah. Let, let me try to see how my... <laughs> Rosa from TikTok. I love her. She is so funny. Come here. Come here. I've... I always catch a searing always catch you staring always catch you staring dude my head hurts dude let me find out i know my head hurts i know my head hurts give me a dollar i see the dollar let me see I see the dollar. Oh, why are you lying? I don't even know how that goes, but. And let me find out. Do come here. Do come here. She is so funny. I hope she comes out with more. Because I'm going to be watching them. Okay, let me get these lashes on right and dude i still need to eat i'm gonna order some food all right let's see oh. you're no like <laughs> when your lashes are like straight straight but they need to get a little curve so i'm trying to make it a little curve yo does eyelash glue ever expire because this lash glue is a bit um old i don't even know if it's okay to use 
but i'm gonna use the last bit I, I actually i still have a whole lot left but yeah i don't know if lash glue does it ever expire yo lash glue i don't know about you guys but i feel like lash glue always stinks if there's a lash glue that doesn't stink please let me know because i've only used um the duo one or the ones that comes in the lashes um but the ones that come with the lashes i've only used like once but yo this lash glue always smells nasty like if there's another one that's good and doesn't stink please let me know because i cannot deal with this one i know i cannot deal with it all right i think that amount of lash glue will do and then while i do that i'm gonna do my lippies let's do that and i've oh my gosh you know what i left my um eyelash tool and that eyelash tool is such a lifesaver oh, i love this color i love colors like this like nudie browns i love them so i'm gonna just smack my lips below it a little bit a little bit 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 I don't know if I want to do the the bunny bell lip lights on top. Maybe I'll do tap it just a little bit. Ooh, I love him. I want to just do a little bit more. Do a little bit more. Ooh, that's a lot more. Ooh, that's a lot more. But we'll just tap tap it a bit. Tap it a bit. And then we will cut our bunny bell lip lights. Just a little bit if you want to see just in the center. And that's gonna make your lips pop more than they already have to be popped that's cute that's cute all right so we're at 16 minutes well with the first um clip we're probably like at 30 minutes so let me all right we still got battery so i'm in the middle of fixing my earrings these i got from did you guys know sex fifth Ave? they have um their partnered um store with this off which is called off fifth off sex fifth Ave. so um they have discounted um items there so that's like their partnered sites i don't know if they have a store that's called off fifth off oh my gosh i'm running low on battery because it's already letting me know so let me put these false lashes. okay so i've got my lashes on they might not be the perfect but which lashes do come out perfect anywho so i found my um mascara so i can go ahead and do my bottom lashes it was literally sitting right on top of me and then i'm gonna have to remember to take off my swatches because sometimes i be leaving the house with my swatches and then i have people asking me questions and it's like oh i'm beauty lifestyle i was doing my little swatches let me see if i can get this on the viewfinder and i'm starting to get hungry So, does it actually help to open up your mouth? I don't know if it does, but I mean, it like opens up your skin. Oh yeah, so you guys know how my um, memory was starting to get full? I had to delete some old vids 
that are already posted in order to clear up storage so i did that uh, let me move on to the next side before i poke my eye out you know when you try to do too much and it's like i should have been stopped i knew my limit why did i keep on going and that's what i'm at right now with my lashes okay okay let me stop before okay should i stop should i not um a little bit it's like oh no i just made a little yeah that right there but that's on my actual skin you know what let me just stop i go into this one all right I forget what's the spot here that it was recommended for food. I feel like saying briskets, but I could possibly be way off. But they're open till like two in the morning. So let me see what's on the menu. I saw artichoke dip in there and I was like, oh yes. I love artichoke dip. It's just something so smooth and soft that goes oh well. Okay, so I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I don't know about you, but I think I'm done. So, oh my gosh, I haven't I haven't put on lashes in a while. So I am loving this. Did I already get my pants dirty? No, I did not. Okay, so get your little wipes and clean up your swatches. Okay. Yo, is that hitting? That, that she hitting. That bottle was hitting. All right, so we've got that. You know when you stand up, that's when it's gonna hit the most. So I've done this. Do I want to put my hair like this? I haven't rocked my my hair like this in a while. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna catch you guys later, and thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want more of these, let me know. Bye.